Welcome back to Google Guru. This video is brought to you by Interlock IT. Thank you for joining our tutorial today. We're going to cover the use of array formula, match, and offset inside Google Spreadsheets. Also, I want to call to your attention that we're using the new Google Sheets for this demonstration, which does slightly change the way array formula works. Now, in our example here, we have imported the profit and loss statement of our company. So it has sales, total income, gross profit, and then the details for our operating expenses. And what we'd like to do is ex extract just this section of the operating expenses into another sheet so that we can then do a pie chart. So you could just copy and paste this section over to your operating expenses page. But a better way to do this is to use the array formula. So how you do that is you say equals array formula, open bracket, and you simply specify the range. So I'll say from advertising, and with a shift click, I'll say till telephone and internet. I'll close the bracket, push enter, and now you can see in the cell here, I've used the array formula to simply pull a range from another sheet into this sheet so that I can then chart it, okay? Now, that works fine as long as the section I want always starts on row 15 and ends on row 27. But what happens if we change the report parameters and run it for the entire year instead of just for one month? Now the operating expenses has moved down a line and we have this new line travel national. If we go back to our extract, we're missing travel national. So how do we deal with grabbing a range from another sheet that dynamically changes based on the data? Well, that's where we can use things like match. What match does is it searches a range for a string. So in this case, we're saying search the range on the sheet 0PL in the range A5 to A1000, just in case there was 1000 rows, and search for the value in A3, which is less operating expenses. And the result of that match formula is it tells us that that is in position 10 on the prior sheet. So let's go back to 0PL. And it's searching from position 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we know that it has found it correctly and it says that less operating expenses is in the 10th position. Similarly, it's doing the exact same thing for searching for the string total operating expenses, which is 25 lines down. Now let's take advantage of that in our array formula. So instead of just a simple array formula pulling a range, we'll modify it to use the offset. So offset says start at a particular position and then offset it and then return the, the values in it. And when you combine it with the array formula, this is very powerful. So we'll say uh, offset 0PL from position A5 to, sorry, position A5, we'll say then return starting at position 10, because that's the match value that we returned into cell B3. And then continue until 25 minus 10 and minus one, just to make sure it gets to the right position. And then we'll just return two columns and push enter. So now you can see what's happened automatically here. It has picked up the additional line. And from now on, no matter where less operating expenses and total operating expenses show in the uh, profit and loss statement here, it will be found by the operating expenses extract. So now let's go ahead and chart. So we'll go and select the range. We'll say insert our chart. It's covering that range. We will put a title on it of operating expenses. and we're going to choose a pie chart 
in 3D and insert. And there's our chart. And the great thing about this is that the chart will automatically deal with new rows that come into it and you won't have errors with total operating expenses showing up in the chart and causing problems.